How's it going everybody? Welcome to Angry Goose Gaming and welcome to Car Mechanics Simulator. Now for those of you watching that might not know, I myself am a licensed car mechanic by trade. So I want to play this and just see how authentic of an experience this is. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I am a mechanic full time, 40 hours a week. That's my day job, that's how I earn my paycheck. Uh, not only do I spend 40 hours a week in a garage, I want to spend more hours in this garage playing this game. Uh, in this short tutorial, we will show you the basic mechanics of the game and show you how to sort out your first few jobs. All right, first customer. Do you hear the phone ringing? It could be a new customer. Go to the desk and pick up the phone to check what needs to be done. Where's my... Man, this is a nice looking shop. Who oh, mind work living in... Bleh, bleh. I can't, can't words this today. I wouldn't mind having a shop like this in real life. All right, where's my phone? Phone! In this menu, you can view all your waiting orders. Uh, some of them are locked because you need more XP to take them. Here you can take, or if you don't like them, pass jobs without consequences. New jobs will appear here every time new customer calls you. Oh man! Now first, non-real experience is getting to pass off jobs that you don't want to do. Because there's some pretty bad ones you get. Change engine oil and filter. Alright. Oh, Whoa! Hey, let me just get started first. Alright, let's do just a nice easy oil change. Just to get in the game here. We'll go over here. Put her up there, bud. Alright. Car's in the air. Let's, uh, shush! I'm, can't you see I'm doing a job here? Oil drain. Let's bring this old girl. Am I good? Where's the... There's a drain plug. Parts disassemble. In this mode, you can unmount parts from the car. Each part can only be accessed from a particular section of the car. So if you're looking in the wrong place, you won't be able to unmount that part. Always check if the part is accessible by moving the cursor over it. If the part is blocked by another part, it will glow red when you try to unmount it. Perfect. Now, can I take the old drain plug out there? We need the filter out too. We're gonna buy another oil filter. We're gonna buy an oil filter. Repair table. Start repairing. No. Toolbox. Eh. Need car parts. Engine. Oh, uh, come on. Oil filter. Oil filter. Oil filter. There we go. Put that bad boy on there. Now, do we... Alright. Let's get rid of this. Back to the lift. Open this little hood. Some oil in there. Fill her up there. They good? All right, sure. Let's go with that. Good enough. Finished job. Hundred and forty-nine bucks for an oil change. Lift up the hood here. Let's, uh, just hold on, I'm busy. So what do we need? Uh, crankshaft pulley, exhaust manifold, starter, and time belt cover. Okay, exhaust manifold. Take that off. There we go. There we go. There's cover. Let's take this off next. Where's my 10 mil? God, can you never find the last tool you're using. Never there when you need it. Man, I'm surprised I haven't broken a stud yet. Judging by the rest of this thing. Alright. Let me take out the manifold. 
And let's grab the starter there while we're right by it. Okay, and a timing belt cover. Okay. Oh, I take the belt off. Belt off. What? I take the belt tensioner off first before I can take the belt off. Alright. I'll I'll just go with your logic, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna need to pull this idler off here. Okay, we gotta pull this guy off. Water pump. Now a time belt cover. Bam. Nope. Oh, there we go. No broken bolts yet. All right. Okay, we got all the parts. Uh, engine parts. We need. Which one would you need? Uh, I think we need this one. In line four. I think is what that means. Uh, what else do we need? Sauce manifold and starter. Bam. Hopefully we grab the right one. Starter. Timing cover. There we go. Assemble mode. Bam! Tighten that bad boy up. Let's go. Man, we're gonna gain some time on this. Let's uh, get the water pump on there. It's a little warm, but still good. Uh, crank pulley. Man, look at this. Getting the right parts. Uh, yeah, exhaust man. Oh no, no, we got the wrong one. Damn parts! Not get me, the, not get me the right parts. Uh, let's put the idler back on. Put some belts back on. Man, new manifold, new gaskets, new bolts. This girl is gonna be good to go. Bam, I think that is everything. There we go. All right, front steering knuckle A. Front wheel hub. Rear axle knuckle housing A. Rear suspension arm, rear bushing. All righty then. So we got bad knuckle here. Take this guy off. There we go. Caliper. That out of the way. Brake pads. Brake rotor. No, I don't need to take the drive axle out. Or, yeah, I do. Why doesn't the hub bearing come out with the hub? Just wondering. Okay. There we go. There we go. The only thing I have to really say, there's, there's lots of basics that are pretty similar, that are actually pretty good to real life. Obviously it's not gonna be an in-depth, uh, in-depth thing. Oh, tie rod. That's what's blocking me. What now? Oh my god, are you serious? Like that's how anal you are? Man! Okay, so not 100% realistic. Let's order us a new steering knuckle. Assemble. There we go. Right 
pads. Caliper. Bam. Caliper. I've never seen a front wheel hub needing replacing. I've seen front wheel bearings. I don't see how you would change a hub and not change the bearing. It doesn't make sense. Just saying. Bam! Give her all the ooga doogas. There we go. Alright, let's. Uh, have a look-see back here. What are we pulling off first? Shock absorber. What else? What else? Rear stab link. Now, upper arm. Yeah, this would, this would definitely be a lot more pain in the arse. If you didn't have a nice open space like this to see and get in. Yeah, definitely a lot worse in real life. Bam! Rear knuckle A. Oh, so we need rear suspension arm. Back together, Here we go. Shock absorber. Stab link. Oh, yeah. If it would only take this long. In real life, you can make some real cash. Fortunately, mechanics is one of the dying trades because. People don't want to work anymore, and people don't want to pay mechanics their worth. Which sucks, but... That's the way it is. Brakes! There we go! Bam! Wheel! Put you in there! All ready to go for the happy customer. Let's uh, finish job. There we go. All right, well, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a pretty fun game. Uh, it's not 100% accurate, obviously. A lot of these things you'd have to road test and other tests to do, but this is just a start, and uh, we're going to increase things as we go and see how it compares to real life. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button follow me on my journey. And I will see you guys in the next video.